on an unremarkable corner in downtown McAllen. We are doing our best. Stands a remarkable woman. They actually call me or text me and say we're releasing a bus of 50, 20. For hours, Sister Norma Pimental ushers weary migrants, bags on shoulders, children on hips, behind the doors of this respite center. In the group, we had about 40 people, more or less. A refuge after a long journey. And all the while, she is fielding interview after interview from the onslaught of reporters here to capture their stories. My concern is making sure they get the proper help and guidance and safety to make sure nobody takes advantage of them. They, they don't end up in, outside of a bus station without knowing what to do. We're right outside the bus station in downtown McAllen. Once people are in this area, they're getting COVID tested down the street, coming down here to the respite center, and there are hundreds of people inside charging phones to communicate with loved ones, picking up hygiene supplies, a lot of young kids and young mothers just having a safe place to wait for the next bus. Many migrants coming from CBP custody, beginning a new life in a country still deciding whether they can stay. But some, like Andrina Rojas, are coming here after more than a year in Mexico, a result of the Biden administration opening processing for people waiting under the Trump era Remain in Mexico policy. Estoy pisando por primera vez los Estados Unidos. Is that making it any harder for you? Well, it's an added responsibility. Fui amenazada y por eso decidí salir de mi decidí salir de mi país para más que todo darle una calidad de vida a mi niño y un futuro mejor, de verdad. As crossings along the southern border keep up, many with young kids are able to stay straining the government and keeping shelters like this one busy. Is there a point at which you can't take any more people? Well, I hope we don't reach that point. But with her kind of energy, Sister Pimental could probably stay here forever. James Packard, Newsy, McAllen, Texas.